Thank you for joining us. I'm Rebecca Powers. Welcome to Right on the Money with Tom Mosley of Mosley Wealth Management. We call you the professor around here. You've been doing, well, first of all, you're a fiduciary. You've been doing financial planning for almost 30 years, and you teach, and you have taught thousands, and you have helped thousands retire. Each week, we tackle a different subject because he really, truly wants you to be informed. This week, we're going to talk about inflation. 40 years, right? 40-year high? Boy, it's it's miserable. You know, when I <laughs> when I first got started, let's let's talk a little bit about when I first got started in in this industry. 1995, I was working for a big box firm. I had to drive all the way from Orange County up to Pasadena, which I would because it was great to have a job then because it was during the downturn of, sure. of 19 uh, right after the downturn of 1994. And I got all my licensing and I got approved for all of that. And they asked me, my two managers, one manager of, of investments and another of the insurance side, they said, who do you want to work with? And in 1995, I said, I want to work with retirees to make sure that they never run out of money. I had been in the ministry for over a decade, and it seemed like every place that I'd been in the ministry, they put me in charge of benevolence. Mm -hmm. Benevolence is when they come and they need money and the church is there to help them for that. And I had had so many couples, multiple couples, stand in front of me and they were trying to decide in the 80s and 90s whether to buy food or buy the medicine that the doctor had prescribed for one of the spouses. So I told them, I said, I want to help make sure people don't run out of money. Rebecca, they looked at me like I had said something in, in some language they didn't understand <laughs> because they were thinking, Doctors, lawyers, engineers work with some group like that. Now you have to think about why did they do that? They did that because in 1995, baby boomers, the leading edge, the oldest baby boomers in 1995 when that was happening, were turning 50. I was saying at that point, I want to work with retirees to make sure they never run out of money. And they hadn't understood that yet. Now you can go to a dinner seminar almost any night of the week, get a chicken dinner and get a pitch as to some guy who wants to sell you some product from many times a big, big box yes. firm who's got the products that they're selling, okay? Now, along came the development of what I do with people and there's six major areas that I work with people. Income is the foundation of any good retirement plan. You've got to have income. Then you've got your investments. You, you've got inflation. And for a long time, I would put that word in there, and I've noticed other people have had, well, we've got five things we work with, and they skipped over inflation. But inflation is going to impact your income, and it's going to impact your investments. So yeah. now, with the world being what it is right now, we just got a report that inflation was 9.1% over last year. And, and by the way, you know, mom used to tell me, figures don't lie, but liars figure, okay? <laughs> I'm writing that down. And, and uh, there's core inflation. They talk about, well, core inflation is 9.1%, all right? Uh -huh. Core inflation means that we have the ability to, to add in or take out, whether it's advantageous as to what we're trying to show, food, fuel, that's energy, prices, housing, and health care. Those are the extra things. Well, those extra things end up being necessary. about 62% of what Americans spend. 62% and they're all necessary things. And they're all necessary and they're not necessarily included all the time in core inflation. So we wow. are having inflation like you would believe. Now let's look at where we're at historically. Let's look at why people ignored inflation because according to the, to the numbers, 10 years, 2.15% has been the average inflation for the last 10 years. In financial services, there's a rule called the rule of 72. If you have a percentage that you're making or you're paying, you divide that number into 72, that's the, the resulting 
number is what it takes you to double. So if you're getting 2% inflation, divide that into 72, it takes 36 years down the road before you double what you need with inflation. And if you're 65, you don't feel like you've got 36 years. You don't feel like you've got 36 years, but the 100 year average is 3.24. So, okay, that's big. But you divide that into 72 and it still takes 24 years for your need to double. But when you take 9.1% wow. and you divide that into 72, you're going to need, a, if we have stagflation, stagflation means that if it stays with us, that if it's with us over a long period of time, say, why would we have that? Well, Japan had it. Europe had it when they went through similar circumstances as to what we're going through right now. Mm -hmm. Not a scare tactic, but if this inflation is not transitory, it's not something they can get a handle on, and it lasts for a period of time. You divide 9 into 72, rule of 72, and in less than 8 years, what you're getting for income needs to increase. That's the impact that inflation is going to have on your retirement plan. It's tremendous. It yes. means you can retire in eight years or you can retire in 36 years. I mean, it, it is more than we ever. Why do you think they never taught us about finances in school? Maybe I'm getting off track, but I wonder. We've learned algebra and all these things we kind of don't need. Why don't they teach us these basic things? I think it's because it's practical and you might need it in real life. And so why <laughs> would you want to teach that in school? You know, I, seriously, I, I've asked teachers before. I, I'm associated with my children's uh, high school when they were in high school. Used to be the booster club president and things like that for the football team. And I asked one of the coaches who taught civics, and I call it civics. It's government and economics is what they call it. And I yeah. said, do you ever teach kids about investments, mutual funds, compound interest? Einstein said compound interest is the eighth wonder of the world yes. because of the way it just multiplies in everything that you're doing. And he said, no, he said, in the curriculum that the state mandates, we just don't have time for that. Exactly. So why would they teach you anything practical? Exactly. Well, I'll tell you what we do. If you'll call 866-709-1462, we will be very practical with you. Inflation is going to impact everybody, but it's going to impact you in a different way that it's going to impact anybody else, depending on your income sources, whether they are they have what's called a COLA, a cost of living increase, and it, it's going to impact you in a different way than anybody else. And I, I want to encourage you, pick up the phone or scan the barcode that you might see on your screen right now. Call us, 866-709-1462. Call us. Come in to see one of our advisors and we will help work you through an analysis of how inflation is going to impact your income. You say, well, I've got enough money right now. Well, great. That's fantastic. But what we're concerned about at Mosley Wealth is not that you're okay now, but we're concerned that five years from now, 10 years from now, 15 years from now, when you're 85 years old, you're not sitting there worried about what inflation has done to your income. We're here to build a true comprehensive retirement plan. We call it a retirement blueprint that addresses taxes. It addresses income. It addresses inflation and the impact that that's going to have on, on your income. That's what we're here to do. So scan the barcode. If you don't know how to do that, get your grandchild to help you. <laughs> They'll be able to do that. Call us at 866-709-1462 at with this with this program today, we have we have like 15 slots that we can work in. So be one of the first 15 callers. Call us. We'll work you into our schedule to have you come in, bring your stuff. Let us analyze what you've got and where you are, and we will help you mitigate this inflation storm that we're going through right now so you can feel comfortable and you can be at peace to know that you're going to make it and you're never going to run out of income. Absolutely. It's the pillow test. We all deserve peace of mind. You've worked all your exactly. life and you definitely deserve it. So complimentary, no obligation, retirement blueprint. Take advantage of this wonderful offer from Mr. Mosley. There's a number one more time, 866-709-1462. We're learning a whole lot more about how you can retire right. Stay with us. How confident are you in your current financial plan? Do you know with certainty how the recent market volatility will affect your future hopes and dreams? How much are you paying in taxes? And how much are you losing to unnecessary high fees? You didn't work to save this money so that you could spend your time worried in retirement. 
Now is the time to take charge of your finances so you can feel confident about your future. Call in during the next 30 minutes of today's show only. To set up an absolutely complimentary, no obligation, full-blown financial review that will result in your own customized written plan. That we're giving away complimentary to the first 10 people who respond. We'll start with a full-blown analysis of what you already have. By running a report to untangle how much you are currently paying in fees, how you're allocated for risk, and what it's costing to work with your current advisor. Next, we'll identify your goals. Where do you see yourself in the next five years? Where do you want to go? And who do you hope to go there with? Is your current financial plan set up to get you there without mishap? Let's design a roadmap to create a financial plan you can follow with confidence. Get the piece that so many people are missing from their retirement. Find out how having a written plan can make a difference to your retirement dreams. Call now to schedule your complimentary, no obligation, full-blown financial review today. Welcome back. We were talking about inflation and you used a word stagflation and I wrote it down because can you define that and explain what you mean by stagflation? Well, don't look this up in Webster's because you know it <laughs> probably is not going to be the same thing that I'm thinking. What I'm talking about with stagflation is it's going to be here a while. Is it going to be here an awfully long time? Have we done things to our economy that's pretty much going to cripple us or hurt us for a long time? All the way back to 2008 when we were coming out of the Great Recession, we have been doing what's called quantitative easing. It's, it's just the flooding of the market with bonds. And that's one reason that, it, that the 20-year Treasury note that's known as the risk-free investment that everybody wants to go into, the 20-year Treasury note, mm -hmm. that's the safe investment. Right now, year-to-date, the 20-year Treasury note's down over 20%. So how safe are you with that? if you're down 20% in a year. Well, what's happened with stagflation, in answer to your question, Rebecca, stagflation comes in when all of that money's in the system and it causes long-term inflation. Now, I'm not saying that's what's gonna happen because I tell you what, anybody who predicts this market, the future, the only thing we know about this market is the past, okay? Right. Because sometimes I go into an appointment and the market's up 400 points, and I come out of that appointment, and the market's down 300 points, <laughs> and I go into another appointment that same day, and it's back up 200 points. Yeah. So and nobody can predict. But if we do have stagflation, it's because all of these bonds have been put in the market to stimulate the economy. That's the purpose. And all of this money is out there. Another reason we have such high inflation right now is we flooded the market with all the stimulus money through COVID and through the other things. And there's trillions of dollars that's in the market. Do you know that if I showed up at your house in Bethlehem the day Jesus was born and I brought you one million dollars all wrapped up in, a, in an envelope or wrapped up in gold. a rubber band, yeah, gold, gold or whatever, <laughs> and I gave you a, a million dollars and I said, Rebecca, let's just stay alive and I'll bring you one million dollars every single day for as long as we're alive. And we were still living in Bethlehem and we were still alive from the day Jesus was born and I had brought you one million dollars, you would still not have one trillion dollars. That's how big it is. Wow. We, put, we put out a video on it to our clients and, and my marketing director misspelled trillion. <laughs> and this school teacher called up and she says, Tom, you misspelled trillion. And you I put said, gazillion. <laughs> I said, you know what, Susan? Trillion is so big, we don't even know how to spell it. And that's exactly true. We don't know how big it is. <laughs> so big. Well, all of this money has flooded the market. And many people believe that this is not a short-term thing we're dealing with. Yeah. It may last a long time. And what you, being the educator, of course, you really want to mitigate the risk because not to set fear into your hearts, it's really just about being uninformed or inform informed. So we want you to be in the informed group, obviously. There is the talk of how much risk do you want to take? What risk are you comfortable with? How do you just look at everything and then mitigate the damages from all? There is hope, I guess is my point, right? There, there is hope, but, but let's go back to the informed and the uninformed. Okay. There are a lot of people that are being trusted as 
informed tr to, to be trusted advisors yeah. who are giving old advice. Now here's what I'm talking about. Usually, a long time ago, they developed in the 90s what's called a Monte Carlo model. When you think of Monte Carlo, what do you think of? Casinos, gambling. gambling. They, exactly. I mean, that's what you think about. Yeah. And the Monte Carlo model is the major model that's used if you're working with a big box firm. They may not call it that, but that is by far, it's a rampant thing that they use to predict your income and the sustainability of your portfolio through your retirement. Now it's based on, I'm going to go really generic, it's based on 3% inflation. Wow. It's based on 6% growth. And it's based on your being able to take out, by the way, when they started it in 1994 or so, mm -hmm. and the guy who put it out came really close to winning, or if not winning, a, a Nobel Prize for economics, you know, mm. because he came up with this great plan. They said you could take 4% out of your money every year, and you'd have a very strong chance a very strong chance very strong. of not running out of money. And when they run the numbers in the simulation, I've seen them, it's like 81 to 92% of success, okay? Well, they came out about three years ago and they said, wait, 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 the 4% doesn't work. We got to go down to 3.2%. That means if you've got a million dollars in the market, then if you agree with those numbers, those static numbers, then you're probably going to be able to take $32,000 a year out to spend. Now, and most people it. don't want to do that. Yeah. And the numbers are static. By that, I mean you can't count on 3% inflation every year. Look at the inflation this year. You can't count on 6% growth in the market every year. Look at the numbers this year. So the Monte Carlo model that most big box financial advisors are using. It's a gamble. <laughs> it's a gamble. And right now, the gamble doesn't work. Right. So how, how, do you, how do you get to the point where you build something that works? How do you, how do you deal with inflation? Because it's all about you. It's not about everybody in general. It's about you. How do you sleep at night? You, you call it the ability to... to the pillow to, test. The, yeah. pillow, the pillow test. You're able to sleep. How do you get to the point? Well, instead of just putting all your money in one big lump sum still like you did for 40 years when you were accumulating it, you need to start directing your money and saying, I want that to take care of my paycheck. I want that that's left over, which many times is a large amount, to take care of my paycheck. You live off of your paycheck, which is guaranteed increasing income for as long as you live. That takes care and addresses the issue of inflation. And then your paycheck, that's the money that you use, Rebecca, to go to Europe to loan to your kids or give to your kids for the yes. down payment on the house or right. to help them out when they get in a, in a jam. I got five kids, I understand. <laughs> help them out sometimes when they get in a, in a jam. So the, the and, and here's the other thing. Stock market is down about 15 to 20%, depending on what day and what time of the day you look exactly. at it. Bonds are down, the 20 year treasury notes are down 20%. So the big box firms come along and they said, let's go a 60-40. Well, that sounds really good, but 60 at 15% loss and 40 at 20% loss. How do you feel about that, Rebecca? Yeah, not good. It's not good. Nothing's working right now if you go with the old rules. You have to play by a new set of rules that directs your money in a certain way. Let me talk about one more thing. In your 401ks, everybody wants to run to the target funds. Let's get in the target. If I'm going to retire at 2025, I want to be in that target fund. The retirement fund at 2025 right now, the average retirement fund for a target fund 2025 in your 401k is down 14%, three years before you retire. The 2030 retirement fund is down 15% on an average right now. It's not working because target funds are simply a stock bond correlation where if one's up, the other is down. If that one goes up, the other one goes down. It's not working right now. Both are down. Listen, you want a real retirement plan, one that addresses your paycheck so you don't have to worry about, am I, am I going to have enough money to go buy groceries? I almost said baby formula. But <laughs> if you got, or you're going to have enough money to go buy what you need to buy, give us a call. We can sit down with you and do an income analysis 
and give you some comfort and some just take some of the fear out of your retirement. Call us, 866-709-1462. That's 866-709-1462. We do a retirement blueprint that addresses most everything that has to do with retirement, but as a part of that, the core to that, the foundation to that is an income analysis that we will do for you, complimentary. There's no charge for it. You come in, sit down with one of our advisors, and we'll give you the peace to know that you've got a plan that takes care of your paycheck, and you'll know how much fun you can have because we'll tell you how much is going to be in your paycheck. Absolutely, and it's like getting a second opinion on anything. If you're confident enough, if you already have a plan, no problem. The Mosley team will even look at your plan, and you can get a complimentary second opinion, too. That's just a good way of looking at it. So never fear. Bite the bullet. Call this number, 866-709-1462, because it feels so good once you have a plan. Stay with us. More with Tom Mosley right after this. As a good saver, you've been putting away money during your working years. Studies find that the biggest fear of retirees is running out of money. Market volatility isn't just the downward movement of stock prices, it's the size and frequency of change. The more dramatic the ups and downs, the higher the volatility. This can put savers who are newly retired or a few years away from being retired at greater risk. Today's generation of retirees is not receiving traditional pensions as our parents or grandparents did. Instead, we have retirement accounts such as 401ks or 403bs. These accounts typically expose your money to market risk. The last thing you want right before retirement is to lose a portion of the money you need for income. But how do you turn these accounts into a retirement income? Is it safe to keep all your retirement money sitting in the stock market? The last thing you want is to lose a portion of the money you need for income due to market loss. By working with a financial professional, you can learn how to turn a portion of your savings into an income stream for life and income for the life of your spouse if you're married. We all have moments in our lives when we wish we had taken action sooner. Don't let procrastination rain on your retirement parade. Act now before it's too late. Please call our office to set up your no cost, no obligation retirement income review today. Welcome back to Right on the Money. I'm Rebecca Powers here with Tom Mosley of Mosley Wealth. You have been doing this, teaching this, been a fiduciary for 30 years. You've been in Southern California for, for decades. I want you to continue to empower people, Tom, because that is really what you are known and respected for. You've taught me that there are three general ways. There's only a few ways to build a house, right? Three or right. four ways to build a house. And there's only about three general ways to build real income. So let's break that down for our viewers. Okay. Well, unfortunately, some of you are there and you're in the first bracket, and that would be underfunded, okay? And I have to address that. You, you need to know one of the things that big box firms are good at is they're, do, they're good at running statistics. And the biggest big box firm about three years ago ran statistics, and they found out that in America, 58% of the people who are 55 years of age have less than $25,000 saved for retirement. So if you don't have much, let's address that. Then, then you've got... You've got when it comes to income, when it comes to inflation, you're in a situation where you need, if you're still working, to work as long as you can, to save as much as you can, build the one thing that you probably have if you're not a government employee, and that is your Social Security. If you are a government employee, because I, I find a lot of people who are government employees who didn't start till they were 50. And so they're just starting to build a pension plan, and that just gets richer and richer and richer. But what I'm saying is if you're underfunded and you're still working, work as long as you can, save as much as you can, build as much as you can. And sometimes I jokingly say maybe plan a trip to Vegas. But, <laughs> but otherwise, you really need to, to look at making it last and working hard. Or maybe do what 42% of the people do, and that is work in retirement part-time. Because a lot of people want to work in retirement, not because they're bored, but not because they need it, but because they're bored and yeah. they just want to get out and do things. So underfunded is one. That's the situation where you, you've got some struggles. Now, if you're, if you're overfunded, and that's where we like to pe put our people, not a single person, Rebecca, in 27 plus years 
has ever called me up and complained because we gave them too much money in income in retirement. <laughs> okay, now, now you could be the first, all right? But nobody has ever, we've adjusted some because they were getting too much, but nobody has ever called us up in the way we build plans and said, Tom, you're giving us too much money, we can't spend it all because they're there. The third way, underfunded, overfunded, that's where you want to be. But the third way is, is the tragic position when inflation hits. That's constrained. You're constrained in that you've got a very narrow route to run. There's a maze, and you've got to run it. Now, what do I mean by the maze? Let's go back to the Monte Carlo model. You've got to have inflation at 3%. Right. When it jumps to 9.5, that's an if that doesn't work. You've got to have growth at 6%, static. Every year is the way they base it. When the, when the growth is minus 20%, you've got an if that's not working. If this happens, if this happens, if this happens. And those things don't work when you get off track and you're constrained. Now, you can endure it for a period of time. But if this inflation goes on forever and you are basing your retirement on a Monte Carlo model, you got a lot of ifs that need to line up and to get back into line for your, for your program to work. You, you've got to make sure that all of those bases are touched on a regular basis. And that's what I mean by a constrained retirement. Some of you are there and, and you're the main ones who need real basic retirement planning that's got to focus on you because I've got four daughters and I've got a, a wife and I detest going shopping with them because <laughs> we go into these huge stores and there are thousands of product in there. Choices, yes. Yes, and there are hundreds that fit them. And my wife can go into multiple stores. We went to the mall recently, and she went into every big store in the mall and found nothing she liked, all right? Isn't that funny? There's a plan that you do like. And that's specifically for you. Gotcha. And it's just about like finding the right dress or the right shirt at a big box store. Yeah, okay? you're more of a concierge, more of a boutique you, you've family got to situation. Do that. You've, got to, you've got to find out what your plan is. Yes. And that's where working with a fiduciary who's going to come in with nothing on the page except what you tell them and say, the first time you come in, this is what you're telling me you want to accomplish. And this is what you have. Let us do an analysis and meet with you again. You come back. We analyze what you've got now, what you say you want to do, and we try to match them up. We analyze your risk level that you're willing to take and the risk level of your portfolio. That's what a comprehensive retirement blueprint means when we work with people. But you've got to call. You've got to click that QR code and sign up for an appointment. As I said earlier, we've got about 15 slots open this week. 866-709-1462. Thank you, Tom. Always a pleasure. And thank you at home for joining us. We hope to see you again next week.